Hey there! Today we're going to learn how to graph a fraction on a number line, even when the denominator is different than the one already marked on the number line. Sounds tricky? Don't worry, we'll break it down step by step. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to graph fractions like one half on a number line that's marked in fourths. Let's get started. Let's start with a quick review. A fraction shows part of a whole. It has a top number, called the numerator, and a bottom number, called the denominator. The denominator tells how many equal parts the whole is split into. So, if we have a number line from 0 to 1, and it's split into 4 equal parts, what's the denominator? The denominator is 4. We call those fourths. Let's look at this number line. There are 4 equal parts between 0 and 1. That means the number line is split into fourths. Now here's the task. Graph the fraction 1 half on this number line. 1 half has a denominator of 2, but the number line shows fourths. What do we do? We can make the denominators match. Once we do that, we will have equivalent, or equal, fractions. But how do we do that? Are you ready to learn a trick that's going to make this difficult task so much easier? We want to find an equivalent fraction, or equal fraction, to one half that has a denominator of four. Here's the trick. We can multiply the top and bottom of one half by the same number. We want a denominator of four, so we can multiply the two by two. Two times two is four, so we have the denominator we need. The next part of this awesome trick is to do the same thing to the numerator that you did to the denominator. We multiplied the denominator by two, so now we multiply the numerator by two. One times two equals two. And now our fractions are equivalent, or equal. One half is equal to two fourths, so we can plot one half on the number line in the same spot as two fourths. Pretty cool, right? The trick is to find a fraction that is equivalent to a fraction on the number line. Let's try another. In this problem, we want to plot the fraction two-thirds on this number line that is marked in ninths. So, we need to find an equivalent fraction to two-thirds that has a denominator of nine. What can you multiply three by to get nine? Three times three equals nine. And remember, you multiply the numerator by the same number you multiplied the denominator. What's two times three? Two times three equals six. So we found our equivalent fraction. Two thirds is equal to six ninths. And now we can plot two thirds in the same spot as six ninths since they're equal. Time for you to try one on your own. Grab a pencil and paper or a wipe off board. You can pause the video while you gather your supplies. At what point on this number line can you plot four-fifths? Remember, we want to make the fractions equivalent, so they need the same denominator. You need to find a fraction with a denominator of 10 that is equivalent to four-fifths. Pause the video now while you work. Press play when you're done. To get a denominator of 10, you needed to multiply 5 times 2. Since you multiplied the denominator by 2, you should have multiplied the numerator by 2. 4 times 2 equals 8. So our equivalent fraction is 8 tenths. 4 fifths is equivalent to 8 tenths, so we can plot 4 fifths in the same spot as 8 tenths on the number line. How did you do? Here's a little more practice. Write down the fraction on the number line where you would plot the fraction in the square. Remember, you have to make sure the fraction in the square has the same denominator as the fraction on the number line in order to know where to plot. Complete all three. Press pause while you work. Then press play to check your work. You got this. One-fourth is equivalent to two-eighths. Two-thirds is equivalent to four-sixths, and four-sixths is equivalent to eight-twelfths. That's it for this lesson. By now, you should know how to plot fractions with different denominators on a number line. Keep practicing to become a master.
Make sure to subscribe for more engaging math videos.